Welcome back. We will solve one more question from this concept of application of combining of ratios. Let's see if you can solve this question quite promptly. So let me read this question for you. The ratio of taxes paid by A and B is 4 is to 3. So what is the information? A is to B equal to 4 is to 3. Whereas the ratio of taxes, whereas the ratio of taxes paid by B and C is 2 is to 5. So ratio of taxes paid by B and C is 2 is to 5. If the sum of incomes of A and C is 46,000, it means A plus C equal to 46,000. Find the difference between the incomes of B and C. So it's asking the difference between B and C. So this is what is in the question. Let me remind you once again, like you know what I told you in the last video. When you see two different video, two, two different ratios like this, A is to B and B is to C. Remember that like it's a situation in which you have to combine these two videos to make it to combine these two ratios to make it one. This is one um, critical step. If you take this, you'll save a lot of time. So A is to B is to C. It's quite promptly. 2 is to be multiplied with 4. 8 is to 6. 2 into 4 is 8. 2 into 3 is 6. Then 5 into 3 is 15. So 8 is to 6 is to 15 is A is to B is to C. Now, this is the ratio. Next step, directly you write by using shortcut to K concept. And this will give you information. In the question, difference between B and C, go, go to this ratio and find the difference between B and C. The difference between B and C here is 9. And what is given information here? A plus C is the given information. So A plus C, 8 plus 15 is given information. So 8 plus 15 is 23 into the given number which is 46,000 so I'm writing here 46,000 and if I cancel it 23 twos are 46 so 9 into 2000 it becomes 18,000 this is the answer to this question so if you look into if you I mean do some kind of analysis here this is just a two step two-step uh, solution you just you know combine these two ratios and make it one then exactly in the next step apply shortcut to K concept and you will find the answer so practice this kind of you know stepings you should be able to take these two steps only to solve this question and this is very important of course there are some different ways by which question can be solved but you should learn these two techniques I hope you understood uh, it well. If you have not understood it properly, rewatch this video to understand the uh, you know two step techniques behind this application of combining of ratios. See you in the next video and good luck.